Hi guys, it's Alexa. Welcome to my channel. As you may or may not know, it is actually National Bullying Prevention Month. Bullying is something we've all had to deal with here and there. Even I had to deal with it at one point in my life. The fact that I have Asperger's Syndrome makes it even worse. Well, in this video, I will be sharing my experiences where I was bullied. I hope you can all relate to this video, and I hope you enjoy it. Let's get into the video. So, it all started when I was in third grade. In third grade, I was in class with some very mean boys. Every day, the boys in my class would randomly come up to me and pinch me, which actually really hurt. They said they did it because they thought I was weird. Not only were they young and didn't know better, but they just didn't understand my Asperger's. I didn't tell my teacher when those boys pinched me because I thought they were just being boys. I really regret not telling my teacher and getting those boys in trouble. Even when my teacher heard me go, ow, when those boys pinched me, she did absolutely nothing. I don't know why. All throughout third grade, I tried to stick with the girls in my class as much as I could because I didn't feel safe around the boys at all. I then reached fourth grade where I encountered another bully. I got bullied by a boy in my fourth grade class. I had to deal with this boy every single day. He didn't physically hurt me like the boys in third grade did, but he did call me names and make fun of me. For example, he would call me a loser and then laugh to himself every time he walked by me. That really hurt my feelings. He found it funny to call me names and laugh at me. This time, I actually told my teacher. She said that she would keep an eye on him and she actually told him to stop when he bullied me. But he unfortunately didn't learn his lesson. He continued to bully me throughout the rest of the school year. Thankfully, he got put in a different class than me once we reached fifth grade, which somehow stopped his bullying. In fifth grade, not only did I have Asperger's, but I was best friends with a girl who also had special needs. This girl and I were inseparable. We would always play together at recess, we would always sit together during lunch, we would always sit together on the bus to and from school, and we even hung out outside of school often. Well, this girl I was best friends with was bullied too, but a lot worse. For example, she has always been on the chubbier side, and she of course got made fun of for that, and she also got bullied for having special needs. So basically, both me and my best friend were misunderstood. In fifth grade, she had a bully in her class, also a boy. This boy bullied her really badly in school. And to make the situation even worse, he rode the same bus as us, along with two of his friends who were also bullies. Not only did these boys badly make fun of my best friend in school and on the bus for having special needs and being chubby, but they started bullying me too for being best friends with her. Thankfully, none of these boys were in my class, but they did make fun of my best friend and I on the bus. Every day on the bus, these boys would call my best friend and I retarded or other mean things and just laugh at us. They would even occasionally steal our books or backpacks and play catch with them just to upset us. Both my best friend and I were hurt by their actions. Of course, the bus driver did nothing to handle the situation. We tried to tell them to stop, but they wouldn't stop. They continued to call us names and laugh at us. A nice boy on my bus noticed how cruel these bullies were being to my best friend and I and actually stepped in to defend us. He told them to stop but even that didn't get them to stop. My best friend and I would have just sat somewhere else on the bus, but my school had a rule where you have to sit on the bus with the kids who are in your grade. 
and those bullies were in our grade. Both my best friend and I were really happy when our parents drove us to and picked us up from school because we wouldn't have to get on the bus and deal with those bullies. I was too afraid to tell my parents, a teacher, or anyone like that about my best friend and I being bullied on the bus, which I really regret. Eventually, my best friend did tell the counselor about the bullying, and those boys apologized to us. After that, they never bullied us again. I didn't get bullied again for a while after that until mid-seventh grade, when these girls who I thought were my friends started taking advantage of me just because I have Asperger's. Basically, they liked having fun at my expense. For example, at my 13th birthday party, these girls made me stuff a balloon into my shirt to make it look like I was pregnant and do a funny dance with the balloon in my shirt. I told them that I didn't want to do it because it would be embarrassing, but they still made me do it, so I did. They were laughing at me while I was doing it, but it wasn't fun for me. They could have filmed it and posted it online, which would have been very embarrassing. Speaking of that, another thing they did was make me do something during a Skype call that would have caused me great embarrassment. They told me to take my clothes off during the call. I knew that what they were doing was child pornography, so I said to them, no, I don't want to do it, and immediately told my mom what happened. Those girls were not my friends. They were bullies. I then heard a couple months later that Amanda Todd committed suicide because the same thing happened to her, which made me even more glad that I didn't do it. Thank goodness I immediately told my mom when it happened. Once I reached high school, I encountered even more bullies. I got bullied by two of my classmates, a guy and a girl. The guy did seem sweet and like a gentleman at first, and I even had a crush on him at first. But he eventually revealed his true colors at the beginning of our junior year. First off, he took advantage of me and had fun at my expense, just like those girls from middle school did. One way he took advantage of me was when I had both nachos and chocolate chip cookies with my lunch, and he made me dip one of the chocolate chip cookies in the nacho cheese and eat it. I told him that I didn't want to do it because not only would it taste disgusting, but it would have been a waste, but he still made me do it. The girl joined him in making me do it, which made it even worse. What I did was I took my lunch, left the cafeteria, and went to my favorite teacher's room to finish my lunch. Not only did I finish my lunch in there, but I actually told my favorite teacher that I was being bullied by these two students and that I didn't feel safe at school because of the bullying. And she actually got really concerned and told my counselor. My counselor then called me down to her office to talk about the bullying. She asked me what form of bullying these two students were doing to me, and I told her that they were taking advantage of me by making me do things I didn't want to do. She then told me that they weren't actually allowed to do what they were doing to me and that I could go into a classroom to eat my lunch instead of the cafeteria, which actually kept me safe from lunchtime bullying. It didn't actually put a stop to the bullying though. One day when I was a junior in high school, I brought a stress ball to school to help me concentrate better in school. Well, the girl who bullied me noticed my stress ball and immediately started making fun of me for still playing with toys at my age and that toys are for little kids. It wasn't just a toy, it was a stress ball. She then grabbed my stress ball out of my hands and wouldn't give it back to me because she wanted me to act my age. I never ended up getting my stress ball back. I did tell the principal about that girl stealing my stress ball, but all she said was that she is not responsible for stolen items and that it was my problem. I was hoping the school would call the girl's parents and make sure that I got my stress ball back, but they didn't. Throughout the rest of high school, I tried to avoid these bullies as much as I could, and the guy who bullied me ended up dropping out of school at the end of our junior year. He never bothered me again after that. 
so that's pretty much my story. I hope you enjoyed hearing my experiences of when I was bullied and I hope you can relate. If you are being bullied, please know that you are not alone. Don't be afraid to tell the bully to stop or report the bullying to an adult you trust, like your parents, the bully's parents, a teacher, a counselor, your principal, anyone who can help you. If you witness someone being bullied, it's nice to step in and defend them because they most likely want someone to come to their rescue. Also, if you're a bully, please know that what you're doing is very, very wrong. You may think that it's funny and entertaining to bully someone, but it's not fun for them. You're only making them feel bad about themselves, and you're likely ruining their life. Bullying can even lead to suicide if it gets bad enough. Also, if you're being cyberbullied, which means being bullied online, take pictures of the hurtful messages and show them to a trusted adult. You can even block the person who's cyberbullying you so they can't cyberbully you anymore. I hope my advice helps you all who are experiencing bullying. If you like this video, please hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. I post new videos every Friday. You may also follow me on Twitter at Alexa underscore Gerard 98 and on Instagram at Alexa underscore Gerard. If you have any questions or requests for upcoming videos, please comment them down below. Also, feel free to share your experiences of being bullied in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Bye guys.